mountain. We got a lot going on since the last video, guys. I haven't been doing gear reviews weekly. Um, just haven't been motivated to do it. <clears throat> and currently, I am back in the van. <clears throat> we are headed to Buena Vista, Colorado. And you guys know I've been training for a ultra this summer. That's gonna be July 30th. Uh, currently, I am signed up for a race in Buena Vista tomorrow. It's a 25, I think 25.3 or 25.4 miles. And that's why we're headed there right now, so. All right, guys. Well, we just picked up our bib number and we also got a pretty cool shirt, long sleeve shirt. Uh, I'm gonna be running the Collegiate Peak 25 mile run tomorrow. Pretty stoked. All right, my friends, we have found camp. Uh, this is gonna be the camp spot for the night and gonna wake up probably around 5.15 a.m. Well, it is race day. It's 5.30, and I start my 25 mile run at 6.45. Get some food in me, some water, and some tea. Let's do it. What a beautiful morning it is. You know, this is gonna be interesting for myself because I have not been running with people at all. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna have to run my own pace. And that's what's nice about this watch is monitoring my heart rate. And when I go over 150, my heart rate, I burn way more energy than I should be doing. So try to keep it under 145, 140, and uh, that's ideal. But yeah, that's why I'm doing this run right now, is just kinda do a little shakeout run. And uh, you know, I have the, the bigger run at the end of July, so this is kinda be a good, good way to figure out how to set my pace with other people around, because you know, when you're by yourself, it's easy to set your pace. But when there's other people around, think naturally you're gonna want to run a little bit faster you know just the hype around you the people and it's just what's gonna happen plus people run fast I'm One of my buddies who's an ultra runner. Mantra is see the carnage, don't be the carnage. All right, we are 6.6 .6 miles in. An hour, hour and 20 minutes. Feeling really good. All right. Let's keep trucking along. We are at 10.95 miles and we got an aid station coming up at the, I think 11.6 or 11.4. Gonna fill up, maybe take a little bit of ibuprofen so it's almost a halfway point. Vitamin I, baby. And uh, get some calories in me. This is 11 miles. 
and we got about another two miles to the halfway point, so feeling pretty stoked. Little aid station break, banana and apples. We are pretty much on the last uphill. So we're at 16.5. And it's mostly downhill from there. Just over 20 miles. I have 5.4 to go, baby. And it is beautiful. It's like 65, breezy. Look at these views. Oh man. I am three hours, 50 minutes in. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty slow, but oh well. Woo. All right, guys. We are at 23.15 miles. We're getting so close. Less than two miles. I'm gonna walk for one minute and run the rest of the way. Whew. All right, guys. Well, we made it back to the van. We got the beautiful collegiates behind me and I finished my first trail race. That was freaking awesome. So uh, I really wanted to film the last like portion running into the finish line, but it was just so cool. It had the finish line and people cheering you on. And honestly, I just didn't really want to bring my phone out. It was such a co really cool and awesome experience. But uh, yeah, so 25.4 miles completed and wow super fun. <laughs> it was definitely hard, but, uh, but yeah, my goal for today was to finish the whole trail run under five hours and I did that I finished the race under uh, so I did four hours and I think 42 minutes and like 40 seconds so pretty pretty proud about that elevation kind of ran anywhere in between I think like 7500 all the way up to 9500 maybe 9200 I forget exactly but uh, you know definitely up there quite a bit um, yeah, just a really cool experience and still definitely have a lot of training to do for the ultra coming up in July. That's 64 miles. So basically doing this again and then 14 more miles after that. So it's definitely going to be very difficult on the body, but also very difficult on the brain. I'm going to do a couple more races before that just because kind of it's great training, of course, but also to kind of figure out your body and, um, you know, how you're going to run. But it's going to be different in a longer race because I'm going to be having my pace a lot slower. So I am not a, I'm not a fast runner at all. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and really stoked. I just completed my first trail race. I, I actually used to run track in like middle school, so I haven't ran a race since since middle school that's crazy and i am 33 now be 34 this uh uh this year and this was the furthest run that i've done so super cool on that and super stoked but yeah anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video you know what to do keep on exploring and get out there and do cool stuff